Hello and welcome to part one of this recorded workshop on preparing to sit the Lantite numeracy test. You can pause, rewind and fast forward this video at any time. Also, on some slides a next button will appear in the bottom right corner and or a back button in the bottom left corner. The video will be automatically paused to allow you time to read the question and work out your answer or to read the solution. Click this next button when it appears when you are ready to move forward. Try it now. Click the next button that appears. Well done. So in this session we will have a quick look at numeracy itself and the requirements of the Lantite test. We'll then have a look at the assessment framework and finally explore opportunities for you to get further support in preparation for the Lantite test. Now, a Google search for a definition of numeracy will get millions of results. Here is ACER's definition for the purposes of the test. A person who's intending to educate students must have a range of essential skills and abilities that can be communicated to the students and empower them to develop in turn skills and abilities of their own. It's important to know facts and have skills but also to be able to apply these skills, to be able to reason and solve problems, to be able to read and interpret mathematical information correctly, to be able to communicate effectively. An often overlooked skill is estimation, as well as the ability to use computers, calculators and other aids. The questions on the numeracy test fall into three categories which you see on the screen. Some of these might require a calculator, while others are more about mathematical thinking and basic computational ability. There are three general areas that are tested in the land type. This table outlines the content in these areas and the range of content and skills that are behind the questions on the land type. This is a new document available on the ACER website. It's been put up to show you the type and level of skills that are required for successful completion of the Lantite. Here is an example of a measurement and geometry question that a person who is at the level of the test standard should be able to do. Use the information in the diagram to determine the position of the map on the display board. Work out your answer and then click the next button to see the solution. Here's the solution. If the map is centred on the display board, there will be 90 centimetres from each side of the map to the edge of the display board. You're not required to show your working out on the test. You will be allowed working out paper if you need it to calculate your answers. These are the skills involved in working out the solution to this sample question. In the described proficiency scales, ACER provides statements about the skill level needed to achieve at or above the standard for each of the three content areas. Finally, a reminder that if you've got any questions, you should make full use of the academic skills people on your campus. Also, remember that there is a large number of resources available for you on the FEA Lantite Support Leo page. Part 2 in this series focuses on typical calculator use questions. You can work at your own pace by using the forward and back buttons to navigate through each question. Part 3 contains questions of the type which have no calculator use allowed. As you work through both parts 2 and 3, concentrate on identifying the skills required to answer each question. You can access and run this video again at any time.